I'm Jane. And I'm Amanda. Welcome. Welcome to Come, Come Dows with me. <laughs> We've done it, hopefully. Don't know, because we watch it on playback and then we're like, oh, we thought that was really together and it wasn't. We're all over the shop, so who knows? But welcome to Come Dows with me. So today we're asking the question, am I hydrated? Great dowsing question. Am I hydrated? So shall we ask it? Am I hydrated? I'm just going to ask that. Am I? Yes, I am. I'm all right. Are you hydrated? <laughs> <laughs> you got a cup? Of, do you need a drink? I, 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 yeah, I, I have. <laughs> I'll, I'll have some tea now. <laughs> oh dear. I'm so very hydrated. I, I mean, so you see I'm getting a yes now. Oh, you see that. That's all you needed, wasn't it? Was a slurp. You didn't actually need to drink three liters, liters of water. It was just to have a wet your whistle. I've, I've wet my whistle. <laughs> That's all you needed, wet your whistle. So um, dowsing is a great tool for checking if you're hydrated because you can drink water or sometimes like me, you might go, I know I've drunk some, but I've got no idea how much I've drunk today. And so just being able to go, am I hydrated? Do I need to drink anything else right now? No, okay, I'm good. Um, and also, um, I did this with a client. I had a new client who uh, came to me about weight loss uh, this week. And one of the questions that I do for everybody that comes to me with, with different issue, you know, different issues, but particularly with weight loss, is um, always we check sleep and we check water and obviously what, what they're eating in terms of diet. But water is a really good one. And so... Um, she'd brought with her her drinks bottle and so I doused and said right okay for this for this week because again you can do it this week and it might change again for next week but this week is that the right um and how many of those should this should this um person be drinking and so doused one two three so got three three of those and so well that's probably what about I drink at the moment so we knew that she was on track with with that because you know, hunger and, and you know, water, it, it, it affects it affects each other. Because sometimes you think you're hungry and actually you just want to, you just want to drink, don't you? Your, your body's hydrated. Yeah, and that's often when you, you go for the sweet option because you feel like hungry because your mm. blood sugar levels dropping. But actually, it may be that you're dehydrated and, you know, can lead to other somatic responses like headaches and, you know, your skin. Sometimes in the morning before I've had a cup of tea, my skin's all a bit like more than it is, you know, more than my lived in face that I've got at the moment. It's even more lived in in the mornings <laughs> until I've had a cup of tea and it like hydrates and starts, <laughs> starts that my wrinkles like <laughs> come out. <laughs> I suppose going, you've been asleep for like eight, nine hours or however many hours you manage to sleep at night. It's uh, it's a long time without a drink when you're used to sort of having having a, a drink on the go and and the other good I suppose the other good thing is as well as water you can check if you're the light's gone really bright I don't know why the light has just gone really bright in front of me I'm just going to swish my curtains around um the is, is that you can check about alcohol and other drinks so am I having too many sugary drinks I mean I'm caffeine free and I'm so glad I am because my tea now counts as my my hydration drinks and my, the caffeine free herbals and not all, all herbal teas are caffeine free. So I also to just pick the ones that are caffeine free. Um, but also wine. Am I drinking too much wine? Oh, I've got enough of that. <laughs> not enough wine. <laughs> yeah, not enough. I actually am. I'm, I'm having a bit of a dry spell at the moment, so I'm not really drinking. So that's probably um, that's probably why I'm, I got that. But ask me some other weeks, and it might be a big old yes. Um, so yeah, um, and and so you can sort of say, you know, what what is good for my system. Um, but with the water, our lovely Jane here has devised um, her own dowsing chart. So Jane, do you want to share with us about your dowsing chart for hydration i will i'll peer around the side of it so you don't get my lighting halo because <laughs> i laminate all mine for the dowsing workshop live events well i did this and i i i know we've talked about it in a previous episode um created by subtle.net which is s-u-b-t-i-l dot n-e-t and they are a website that you can sign up to and you can 
make and div div divine we can divine but make and douse your own charts or use one that's already made up i decided i wanted one with um yes no maybe and i percentages you can use um counting so you can ask is it um more than some dowsers use more than a hundred percent i have a job getting my head around more than a hundred percent because 100 percent is 100 percent yeah but yeah, i guess I it, 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 it's, it's your own interpretation so you could make it more than 100 percent if you wanted to um but i then i find it easier and then um i've got plus and minus as well because um particularly with water you know ph level and things like that if you're into chemistry or you're using spring water you might want to um just check the ph value of it and um, because acid or alkaline to see if that impacts your hydration levels but it's really easy to use so you different ways of dowsing a chart but you use your pendulum i always start it swinging uh, across the middle bit it's really hard to do this like this like that <laughs> and then i say um how much am i hydrated at this moment and my pendulum oh it's going i'm getting about 98 percent that's good that's good so maybe um, i need a quick slurp of tea just to take it up to 100 <laughs> And I suppose it's not just about the amount of water that you're drinking. It's also that's all the drinks that you're drinking. It's it's the drinks that you're drinking, and also like if you get tap water, I I put my tap water it goes into a jug and it's charcoal, and I, I do it up do it all through there before I then decant it into another jug for drinking, because it's um it's it's I mean our tap water tastes cack. It's not nice at all. But once you've once I've put it through the charcoal, it's fine. And then it's sort of working out what's best for you. For um, do I need to do anything? Can I drink the tap water as it is? You might get a yes or a no for that. Uh, do I need to do anything with the water? And then if you do need to do anything with it, what do I need to do? Is it putting it through a uh, you know charcoal? Is it leaving it? Is it putting it in the fridge? Is it whatever it might be? Um, and also your water bottles. Um, have you got the right water bottle for for you? Obviously, if you're a dowser, you probably douse the water bottle before you bought it. But if you haven't, then it's like, is that is that a good water bottle? Is there any reason why I shouldn't be using that? Um, and the same for the ones that you have bought. You can always check in on them and go, are you still good to go? Because, you know, you can't see some of the metal ones get dent. You can't see what's going on in the inside. Um, it's it's quite good to sort of replace them or change them if they've if they've done their time. And as a dowser as well, we can energise water using our pendulum, so you can add and remove. <laughs> how would how would one do that, Jane Taylor? Well, I oh. went Pete. <laughs> I'd hold my pendulum and say, "Do I do I need to energise this water or de-energise this water?" And depending on my answer, and then I'd hold my pendulum over the top of the the water that I want to um, influence, shall we say? And then I'll say, "Show me a no when the." energization or de-energization has been completed and when i get a no then just double check in is this water um energized appropriately for me to drink and i mean i know I, I can't remember if it was series one or two we did that um vader austin um, oh yeah that was really interesting you know, freezing water and she's doing so much research and just on another note actually if you get chance um and you'd like to come as my guest devon dows has got her coming in september 2023 in case you're watching this in the future yes yeah Excellent. so she's coming back over again so really excited because she's just doing so much more development on on the molecules of water and the different um symbols and um yeah it's just great it's it's great so um yeah if, if anyone wants to find out more about water and and she does spring water and she collects it from different places as well and looks at tap water and um yeah and freezes it and you get all these lovely images so yeah i can't remember what series but i can't I think, remember what 
I can't remember what they're. Let me have a look. I'll have a little look while we're. I'll just have some interval music. Um, <laughs> the water one was episode seven of series two. There we so go. That's um, yeah, and that was where we did a little experiment. We put it in the freezer, didn't we? And we yeah. Oh, well, you did it at home with an orange, hadn't you? But anyway, watch it. If you're interested yeah. in that, watch it because it, yeah. it's the whole episode's about that, isn't it? And I, I think what it does is it it does show us that water holds an energetic charge and an, an imprinting as well. And, and so it's what we're telling by what's around it, isn't it? Yeah, and it's you know it, it's absolutely fascinating. It's it's you know the water that we hydrate our bodies with um, has an effect almost maybe at a cellular level and you know if it can do this in a petri dish or a little glass container or a ramekin whatever you're using you know the possibilities are endless <laughs> happy water in i was gonna say happy water out but happy water in happy body happy mind happy everything yeah but yeah putting the it's a bit like your car and you've got to put good fuel in it and it'll run okay. You put bad fuel in, it runs like a bag of spanners. And it's the same for our bodies, aren't they? Good water in, happy days. Bad water in, you run like a bag of spanners. Same with the oil. If you think in the car, you know, you need to sometimes change it. So it's about hydrating you, hydrating you appropriately. But what I was going to say, if anyone's really interested in um, getting this chart, Wait, the chart we get it? Available, you can get it at on the bottom of my screen here. Other side. That side, even. That side like that. <laughs> there we go. At www.tailormadetherapy.co.uk. And if you sign up to my newsletter, you will be able to access this and so much more. So much more. And lots of it is relating to, to dowsing and um, some of the live events that um, are planned and may have also happened by the time this episode goes out. Out. who knows who knows and i suppose people can request it as well can't they we can if, yes. if there's a way that we can add that onto the youtube channel we'll we'll have a crack at that yeah. as well but uh yeah um but i suppose that'll be available on that website as well on, on your website you can you can find the dowsing chart on there yeah lovely so with the water and wine water into wine um but yeah so happy dowsing like and share um like and comment like and share well share away share away but i'm meant comment um <laughs> so comment <laughs> below and let us know of any of your what you do with your water if there's any other ways that you use it or you use dowsing to um to work out your water and whether you're hydrated or not there might be some i mean it's just good when you start sharing how diff there's so many we're different there isn't just one way to do it there's so many different ways that you can do it and you can approach it so share away because um yeah, it's just, it's always good to sort of find out what everybody's doing. Yeah, knowledge is power, Amanda. Knowledge is power. <laughs> Double thumbs up. <laughs> Happy dowsing. Happy dowsing, everyone. Bye. Bye.